What's up guys, welcome back to Skip's Guns. Before we get started, I always like to thank everybody that has anything to do with Skip's Guns or SGZ. SGZ is my business that we pretty much do all of the stuff that you see on this channel. We're not selling anything on this channel, we're just giving you some visual ideas of what we do. But recently, we hit a milestone and that was 25,000 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for liking subscribing and sharing and just you know getting this channel to grow I remember when I had like 300 subscribers and I was clawing away trying to do what I could to get somebody to even contemplate working with me and now not that it's super easy by any means, but it is a lot easier when you have a great set of people like the majority of you guys that follow me. So really, thank you very much. That being said, of course I love 2011s. I mean, I have a full wall of them and uh, sometimes you come across a good deal where you can just you got to buy it. And that happened for me a couple of weeks ago. Now, if you'll remember, I am an Atlas dealer and I was able to get one of their uh, demo guns. I've had a couple of them, but I think about like a year ago, they sent me the Nix. Now, the Nix in itself is basically one of the nicest carry guns that you're going to find. So when I was browsing through the interwebs and I found one of them, I was like, you know what? Let's make this happen. I got an idea. And here we are, folks. This is the Atlas Nix. And what have we done to this thing so far? And what are we going to do to it? <laughs> so I'm not really going to talk about what we're going to do as much as what we've done already or just overall how this thing came from factory. So... It is a steel frame, so that in itself, you might think, well, that's just stupid. It's a carry gun. Why is it a steel frame? It's because they wanted to give it a lot more balance. That extra weight is going to help this gun track a lot better. Now, Atlas is never really going for, you know, flat shooting like this as much as they're going like that. Just snap back into place. That's what perfect zero actually means. See, it says it right there on the barrel. Now, they have kind of changed it a little bit on what that means with the new Apollo because now they say that that means this because they have that V2 port set up. But originally, they used to say perfect zero was come up and boom, right back into place, never dipping or anything like that. So that's why they're rolling with the steel frame on this guy. From there... We're going to move to the back of the gun, and that is going to be a very impressive but very unnoticed setup. So you have the Atlas thumb safeties. They have a 40-degree angle. They hold your hand up way higher on the gun, a lot more with the line of the bore to give you just a better, higher grip on the gun itself, giving you more control, also helping that perfect zero. Then... Their grip safety is non-existent, so completely flat there. But their beaver tail is blended, not like a square like you would see here. Okay, you see how it's a, a lot more edges and everything here. And then this is more like a, like a fingernail, basically. What that is for is because we're not made like Lego people. Our hands are not square. They are round, so when you grab this thing, you're actually going to get a really comfortable purchase. And with the grip safety being pinned, and then the thumb safeties holding your hand up higher, you really get up in this thing, and you can just shoot and shoot and shoot and not worry about having a huge blister when you're all said and done. Then you move down a little bit on the gun and you're going to come to one of the nicest grips that are out, period. You know, and this is from a guy that makes grips. This is the Alpha Grip. And not only is the texture of it one of the best textures and pretty simple if you ask me. It's just some nice triangular setup. 
and they go in different directions, giving you not a super aggressive texture, but a comfortable texture. Then they have this genius idea to add these palm swells. Now, I right now have the, the palm swells, but they also have the palm steps. So the swells are simply that. This is a whole piece right here. It bulges out, and you can do it on both sides. Or you could do the steps. I'm going to show it right there. The step is going to be when you're holding it like this, your fingers on your strong hand are going to be sitting on the flat part of the grip, but you're still going to have this bump out to push your palms out a little bit more on the gun, giving you an overall more controllable grip on everything because you're, you're kind of wrenching down on the whole setup. For me, with bigger palms, smaller fingers, that's like the optimum way of grabbing one of these things. And I don't like it when they don't have that. Uh, also, you have a super cool carry magwell on the NYX. They have the other one. You can get their tactical setup, or you can get one without it. And uh, it'll just kind of be a ring. The ring is actually going to hold these grip swells in place. And you don't have to use them. They have simple flat ones that usually just come with the gun. But it is a really nice feature. Then we're going to move to the other side of the gun. And that's going to be, this doesn't come with the gun, but something I use, is going to be a Hayes Customs Magazine release button. I mean, you put that on there. You don't even have to break your grip. It is right there and ready to rock. Uh, from there, I have a modified Atlas trigger, so it is still got some edges on it, and that's going to hold your finger up and down, but you're going to have a really short trigger because of how I modify these things. From there, of course, you got to go with an Atlas gas pedal. I mean, this thing is just, it's a must for me. I mean, I, I just love having that control with the other hand. You push down on this. Now, of course, it's not going to lock back, so this isn't for everybody, but this is a really awesome upgrade. Then you got some more control, and you're going to be able to shed some light on some things with the Hollow Sun PID. It's going to basically sit flush. And speaking of flush, we have... A flush cut and crowned barrel, and then I installed a keyed reverse plug, and you still have the uh, toolless guide rod in there. So breakdown is super easy, and then we're going to move up to the top. You have a nice fiber optic. It's pretty thin, and then you have their tri-top, and then the tri-top is a little different because it's hard to see, but right there, it kind of stops and then that molds right into their optic setup now their optic setup i'm gonna admit is not the lowest sitting optic setup but it is built properly you get a really nice co-witness uh the rear sight is removable on some of the plates it doesn't even come with a rear sight and i mean it it really does perform i've never had one of these fail on me so Besides it sitting a little bit higher than others, I'm going to give this thing a, a really good skips thumbs up because it definitely does work. And when you're rolling with something like a 507 or the 507 competition or just a regular RMR, it doesn't really matter how high or low it's sitting because you don't have to worry about the hood you know, sitting up so high. But, I mean, the purchase on it is perfect. The serrations on this gun... No one ever talks about them for some reason. And they're actually mini triangles that match the same texture that's on the grip. And if you look here, it's not exactly the same, but they got some knurling on the gas pedal. So you get a lot of traction here. And then the same thing in the back, but you get these little pockets too. So your hand can kind of sink into it. Then something that they like to do is they polish their barrels. Now, this is the stainless version, which is actually working in my favor because of what we have coming in the future. But uh, you're going to get a stainless hammer, grip safety, uh, thumb safeties, barrel, and then reverse plug. And 
from there, that really kind of covers all of the bases of the actual gun itself. We all know they got EGW internals and Atlas makes their own toolless guide rod. So, you know, I don't want to cover the same things everybody else does. I want to cover some different stuff so my videos actually stand out a little bit more. Uh, one thing that I did want to cover before we go, because like I said, this is kind of just like a recap and then something to go over before you see what we do with this the PID hollow sun light I like to use this light because not only does it sit nice on the gun but the the TLR one from Streamlight, very popular light and that uses a holster uh, everybody makes it this is a QVO setup but look at this this PID it shares the same holster footprint. So just get the Streamlight TLR1 holster. And if you have this light, boom, you're set and ready to rock. But if you'll notice, this has a gas pedal on it and I just put it in a holster. So question that I get a lot is going to be, can you use the gas pedal with the holster? Well, I just proved it. And here's a little sneak peek on how to do it. Now, it's not going to cost you millions of dollars, like some people want to say. You simply just take a hair dryer, or if you're lucky enough to have a heat gun, and focus right in this general area. The reason why we're focusing on that is because that is where the actual gas pedal is. So you're going to put it right about here. You're going to start to heat this up, but you're going to want to focus more like kind of on an angle like this pointing up so it heats this whole section up and then this was going to get a little bit warmer and you're not trying to melt it you're just trying to make it pliable and then all of a sudden it's just kind of going to fall into place obviously you help it a little bit and then as soon as it falls like that just give it a couple more seconds right in this general area and then take it away and just sit this thing down preferably this side you know down so that way it can hold this up and not like flop over or anything like that and then once it cools you're pretty much just ready to rock you might have to make a couple little adjustments here and there but that is how you get the gas pedal to work you see i didn't have to do anything crazy it is just going to function and you're ready so this is the Atlas Nix. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you again for hitting 25,000 subs. That's a huge accomplishment. And the next one is going to be 50,000 and then 100,000 and then a million. <laughs> but guys, once again, thank you very much for anything and everything that you all have done for me. You really have changed my life for the better. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Remember, stay safe, believe and achieve, and we'll check you later. Now, clearly there is nothing wrong with this gun. It is just an absolute unit of a gun, but we took my customers, Nix, and uh, we plagued it. So, what does this gun shoot like with the plague? Instead of me trying to explain it, just just check it out. I mean, forget about it. <laughs>